Good evening and welcome to our Lenten worship services for the fifth Wednesday of Lent. It's great to have you tuning in with us this evening. We appreciate your presence. Please share this opportunity with others as you see fit. We're glad that you could join us this evening.
surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
ministry on earth, Lord, you showed your power and your caring by healing people of all ages, of all places in life, from physical and mental and spiritual ailments. Lord, be present now to people who need your loving touch because of the health care crisis we are under. Lord, may they feel the power of healing through the care of doctors and nurses and health care officials. Lord, take away the fear and the anxiety, the feelings of isolation from people that are receiving treatment or are under quarantine. Lord, give them a sense of purpose in pursuing health and protecting others from exposure. Lord, protect families and friends and bring peace to all who love them. And Lord, we continue to lift to you the concern for people who are more likely than others to become severely, severely ill, those who are elderly, people with chronic health conditions. Lord, protect them from harm and be their comfort in this time of uncertainty. Lord, as many people get sick, and as this increases, healthcare workers and first responders are working long hours and with fewer supplies and with more risk of contracting this new virus themselves. Lord, renew their energy, sustain them on these long shifts. Lord, bring your protection upon them as they work with these patients. Lord, help us to raise the supplies that we need to protect all of those who are needing them to stay safe on the job. Lord, inspire and invigorate the research that people are doing to diagnose this virus and create vaccines for it, identifying protocols to eliminate the spread. Lord, we seek your wisdom daily. Through your Holy Spirit, as families continue to adjust to everyone being home or as businesses and schools and churches close momentarily, we ask that you guide people in these new realities, in their new lives. Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness and how you have guided and equipped people in their work. Just like you have in the past, you are doing that today. Lord, it is so scary for some. It is overwhelming for all of us, especially not knowing how we will pay for bills or meet obligations, how we will provide for those that we love. Lord, as people feel this strain during the uncertainty, continue to bring them comfort and peace, reminding them that you are here for them. Provide for them in these times of needs. Great and merciful God, you are the source of all goodness and light. Give your people the peace that passes all of our understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your prayers.